Victor. We're going on a trip to Italy near Lake Como. Victor, I love you. Natural philosophy. How much progress have you gotten on it? I devoted my entire childhood studying Cornelius Agrippa and Paracelsus. Have you really spent your life studying so much nonsense? Every minute. Welcome class to chemistry. I'm Zora Waldman. We'll pick up back where we left off last week. The ancient teachers of the science promised impossibilities and performed nothing. Come in. Mr. Waldman? Modern philosophers are the foundation for present philosophers. I'm happy to have gained a disciple. My dear Victor, I wish to prepare you for a woeful news, but I know it is impossible. Even now your eye skims over the page to seek the words which are to convey to you the horrible tidings. William is dead, that sweet child who smiles delight and warmed my heart. He was so gentle, yet so gay. Victor, he is murdered. I will not attempt to console you, but will simply relate the circumstances of the transaction. knows how entirely I am innocent, but I do not pretend that my protestation should acquit me. I rest my innocence on a plain and simple explanation of the facts which have been adopted against me, 
and I hope the character I have always worn will incline my judges to a favorable interpretation where any circumstances appears doubtful or suspicious. Oh Justine, why did you rob me of my very last consolation? And do you also believe that I am so very, very wicked? Why do you kneel if you are innocent? Justine, nothing can break my confidence but your own confession. I did confess. I confessed a lie. The God of heaven, forgive me. My dear lady, I had none to support me. What could I do? I beheld those I love spend vain sorrow upon the graves of William and Justine, the first hapless victims to my unhallowed arts. We retired to our house at Belrath. Solitude was my only consolation. The nature surrounding me elevated me from all littleness of feeling. They subdued and tranquilized my grief. Hear my story. 